This is Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. Cape Girardeau will be abuzz with electric cars later this month. The second annual electric car conversion convention will feature electric car enthusiasts from across the globe. What makes Cape Girardeau such a hot spot for electric cars? Jack Rickard and his web-based TV show, EVTV. Jack Rickard, thank you so much for coming by to talk with us. I'm delighted to be here, Jake. I see you've made the move from radio <laughs> over to the dark side here in video. How do you like it? I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the uh, some of the specifics here. When's the electric car convention coming up, and uh, where's it going to be? September 26th to the 30th, and right here in Cape, of course. We're probably the most central location in the nation. Uh, we're going to have most of our sessions at the Show Me Center Arena this time. We're about twice the size as last year, and so we needed a little more space. But the drag race and the autocross will be at the airport again. And, um, of course, we'll uh, have a car show at Cap Hall Park again. So very similar to last year's event. So what happens at an electric car convention? Mostly we have um, educational sessions where we all complain about oil companies. <laughs> <laughs> and talk about energy, but also the various components you use to convert a car, motors, controllers, and of course the number one topic is always batteries. And I have a special battery expert, uh, Mr. John Hardy from the UK, will be coming over to talk uh, uh, more about that. Of course, we do a lot of battery testing, so that's, that's really the number one interest of most of the builders. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, like the folks that come to these things. Who are the who are, where do these folks come from, and and why are they interested? How do they get how do they get interested in, in electric in electric car conversions? You know, a um, remarkable number of them all traced from the same documentary, "Who Killed the Electric Car." Uh, it made a lot of people angry about our car companies and oil companies, and. Um, you know, might there be a way to uh, do something different with electric cars? We demonstrated about four years ago that a 54 year old guy in green shoes working half days falling down drunk can, in fact, convert his car to electric drive. And uh, we've got people all over the world. They'll be here from 20 countries um, at the event this fall here in Cape Girardeau, um, and about 240, 250 people. And oddly, they're, uh, everyone's bringing cars. We're going to have 60 cars, and the logistics of that's very difficult. But they want to bring them and show them to their peers and compare techniques for how to convert different cars to electric drive. Now, a, a lot of these people that are converting their cars, they've learned through EVTV, through your through your your, your web-based program. Is that is that where a lot of these people come from? Have they have they they just they've been they've been following your suggestions and your. And, and how you do it yourself in your own garage here, and then just uh, bring that car to Cape Girardeau and kind of show it, show it off a little bit. That's pretty much the case. There have been people converting electric cars for some time, but we've developed a following. Um, by hosting on Amazon.com, the cloud, we have kind of a global footprint, and so we get people from all over the world talking about their cars and wanting to do a build. And um, again, I'm a fairly unimpressive uh, auto mechanic and, and person, so they look at me and say, well, how if that old guy can do it? <laughs> you know, I know something about cars. I surely could. And so we've, we've caused a lot of people to do conversions, and it's picking up. The components are getting better uh, as that market develops. More people are attracted to develop things that make it easier to convert your car. So it's gaining a little bit of momentum and it's uh, it's about as much fun as you can have with your clothes on. Uh, I guess the, the big question um, that people always ask about electric cars is, especially these converted electric cars, how far can you go on a charge and, and how fast do they go? Hmm. I've um, had a couple of our cars up over 130 miles an hour on the dynamometer. Now, I don't ride in them that fast at my age. But, but you've gotten them up to 130 miles an hour. 9,500 yeah. miles an hour out here on our freeways. Don't tell that around. Uh, <laughs> and 130 on the dynamometer. But we will have two cars here this, this year that uh, do a quarter mile in under nine seconds. And they're electric powered. Now, that's a, that's a, that's a race car. They are race cars. Uh, there's a whole uh, uh, North America uh, Electric Drag Racing Association that's developed, and John Metric is the president, and he'll be speaking at EVCON uh, this fall. So you mentioned earlier that uh, batteries. Batteries are a, a, an incredibly important topic um, at this convention. Why is that, and, and where is the battery technology right now? Are we at a point where, where batteries can, can hold a charge long enough and are light enough to... Uh, 
to keep to keep a you know to keep an electric car you know going you know 100 miles on a charge or something. We uh, crossed a threshold of viability in batteries about four years ago, and they've gotten better every year since. We waited a hundred years for. A battery. I've got a 1913 uh, book that said the good batteries are just about six months away, and that was in 1913. <laughs> we waited a hundred years. They arrived, and uh, most of the population is still waiting. Um, it's the strangest thing. But we crossed a threshold of viability where an electric car can be, instead of a science project, you can actually use it as a car. And um, the average American drives 39.4 miles a day. Uh, the average uh, person in Cape Girardeau probably drives 21 miles a day, and if you are doing more than that, you're circling, and someone will stop and ask if they can help you find something. Uh, so the car will do 80 to 100 miles. Um, I have one car that will do 150. Um, that's for demonstration purposes. I actually charge my car typically twice a week, whatever I'm driving. And just plug it in, plug it in overnight with a regular standard uh, standard electrical outlet. Oh no, I use a J1772 connector now and 240 volts AC. It's much more durable and it charges faster. Today I drove here in a uh, 2008 Cadillac Escalade EXT that weighs 7,500 pounds. We've been working on for two years and it, it turned into my daily driver Friday and I'm uh, delighted with it. It's, I'm, I'm just, I can't, uh, we call it the EV grin when you finish a build and it actually works and you're driving down the road entirely silently with no gasoline um, and it has this continuous kind of acceleration. You just can't you get this big grin. It's called the EV grin. And uh, uh, Friday was the day I started driving this, not in a test fashion, but actually driving it around town. And I can't stop smiling. We've been talking today with Jack Rickard. He organizes the Electric Car Conversion Convention. He's also the host of EV TV. Jack, thank you so much for coming by to talk with us. It's great to be here. Coming up, Southeast Missouri's economic health. That's just ahead on Cape Chronicle. Important announcement. Getting old is horrible, okay? Horrible. You're not old. I mean, you're I'm older, old. but you're not old. You want to see old? Oh, God. Yes. Grow up, for goodness sakes. The last man to hit on me was an undertaker. I know where you I, know, I, I don't want to talk about that. Well, you're going to have to talk about it. It's the future. It's coming right at us. And I'm not worried about dying. It, it's getting there. I mean, heaven is going to be fabulous. It's going to be a giant shopping mall, and there's going to be 20% off on everything except for me, 44. You know, you're doing jokes, and yes. I'm just not ready. Well, you have to be ready. You have to listen to me. Look, there are things to discuss. They're going to be my needs. They're going to be my wants. Uh, you know, Mom, I, I just, I don't want to hear this. Oh, I just please. don't want to hear this. La, 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 la. Don't give me la, no, la, la, no, la, no, la, la. I don't. I can't. I Talk can't do this. to your family about uh -uh. aging, even no. if they're not ready to listen. Mm -mm. Come on. Listen to me. Listen to me. For the first time? Yes, for the first time. No matter who you are, it's not easy talking about aging. For help, go to voa.org slash talk. A message from Volunteers of America.